Not just combat jets, but even the non-combat military aircraft are yet to enter service in the foreseeable future for the United States. The U.S. Air Force are expecting aircraft such as air tankers, trainers, reconnaissance and surveillance aircraft to be in operation soon. Some of these have undergone successful testing. Some are also expected to be the most advanced variant compared to its predecessors. Today, we the Buzz will present the eight upcoming non-combat military aircraft of USA. Without further delay, let's just get started. Firstly, we have the Boeing Sap T-7 Red Hawk. This is an American-Swedish advanced jet trainer produced by Boeing in partnership with Sap. It is a completely new sophisticated pilot training system that will train the next generation of fighter and bomber pilots. Boeing was awarded a $9.2 billion deal by the United States Air Force for 351 T-7A advanced trainers, 46 simulators, and support. Designed using a digital thread, the T-7A aligns with the U.S. Air Force's Digital Century Series strategy by enabling the integration of new concepts and capabilities faster and more affordably through virtual testing. These modern, computer-driven manufacturing techniques serve as an enabler for the U.S. Air Force's Digital Century Series strategy. Up next, we have the KCX Tanker Program. Through this program, some of the more outdated Boeing KC-135 Stratotankers will be replaced by its next-generation aerial refueling tanker aircraft. The primary criteria listed by the United States Air Force for this program are fuel offload and range at least as great as the KC-135, airlift capability, ability to take up fuel while in flight, and multi-point refueling capability. Next, we have the Future Tactical Unmanned Aircraft System. The FTUAS will be a low to medium altitude aircraft with modern data links, electro optical or infrared sensors, infrared or laser pointer, data encryption, manned unmanned teaming capabilities, and the ability to operate autonomously. The FTUAS provides brigade combat teams an improved ability to execute reconnaissance and surveillance operations that collect, develop, and report actionable intelligence information about the enemy. Due to its greater agility and greatly improved survivability as a result of its diminished sound signature, the FTUAS offers a clear tactical advantage. This program is currently in the technology demonstration acquisition phase, but it will enter service in the foreseeable future. Up next, we have the Lockheed Martin LMXT Strategic Tanker. The LMXT complements the U.S. Air Force's tanker capabilities by providing the most advanced aerial refueler to meet America's immediate and long-term mission requirements. The LMXT is built on the combat-proven design of the Airbus A330 multi-role tanker transport, which is the strategic tanking choice of 14 nations around the world. It is said to be the world's first fully automatic boom or air-to-air -air refueling system. The state-of-the-art boom system is a vital aspect of the overall LMXT offering, and compared to conventional tankers, this aircraft will have improved range and fuel offload capacity. Up next, we have the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray. On September 19, 2019, the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray, an aerial refueling drone, made its maiden flight. It provides secondary intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities in response to the carrier-based air refueling system requirement. Boeing's MQ-25 design is powered by one Rolls-Royce AE-307N turbofan engine, delivering 10,000 pounds force of thrust. The aircraft is less stealthy than flying wing UAVs, but it does feature a stealthy fuselage shaping, flush inlet to shield engine blades from radar and V-tail. The first refueling test was carried out on June 4, 2021 with the MQ-25 supplying fuel to an F-A-18F Super Hornet. With the E-2 and F-35C, more refueling tests were conducted. The Chinese People's Liberation Army views MQ-25 as increasing the resiliency of the U.S. aircraft carriers, and it is expected to enter service in 2026. Up next is the EC-37B. It is an electronic warfare aircraft 
an airborne tactical electronic warfare system manufactured by BAE Systems. The EC-37B Compass Call aircraft is anticipated to give the USAF improved standoff jamming capability. It is integrated with the modern Compass Call Airborne Tactical Weapon System, which delivers high mission effectiveness while ensuring survivability of the pilots and operators. It is powered by two Rolls-Royce BR-710 C411 engines. The USAF plans to acquire 10 EC-37B Compass Call aircraft to replace the 14 EC-130H fleet. The initial operating capability of the first two EC-37B aircraft is anticipated to be attained by 2023. Up next is the CH-47F Block II Chinook. The CH-47F Block II program offers numerous improvements over Block I in terms of speed and cargo capacity, but it excludes the new rotor blades intended to increase the helo's lift capacity. According to Boeing officials, Block 2 has a maximum gross weight of 54,000 up from 50,000 on the first block, or around an 8% improvement. Block 2 also allows for an 8% increase in mission radius when fully equipped and carrying 32 soldiers. The first production Block 2 helicopter will be delivered in 2023, with roughly more than 500 helicopters to be upgraded to the new standard. Lastly, we have the Lockheed Martin SR-72. As a replacement for the decommissioned Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, Lockheed Martin offered the SR-72, an American hypersonic UAV idea, in private in 2013. It is intended for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR. It was believed that high-speed aircraft may breach protected airspace due to the development of anti-satellite weaponry, anti-access area denial strategies, and counter-stealth technologies. Though it could carry weapons to strike, but its main purpose is for surveillance and reconnaissance. Hence, it is included in this list. The SR-72 will be over 30 meters long, similar in size to the SR-71, and will have a similar operating range. It is planned to equip the SR-72 with an air-breathing hypersonic propulsion system, which would allow it to go twice as fast as the SR-71. It has the ability to accelerate from standstill to Mach 6 using the same engine, making it about twice as fast as the SR-71. New sensors and weapons would likely have to be created specifically to operate at such speeds. In November 2018, Lockheed Martin announced that SR-72 prototype flight was planned for 2025. The SR-72 might go into operation in the 2030s. With this, the buzz is signing off for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.